great home in Hallett Cove. Uh, when you guys sell your product, what's it like selling a bit of paper? <laughs> oh, must be exciting, you know, like, how would you be being a stockbroker when we just wander around houses like that? Anyway, we, uh, we've got to be unbiased at this, uh, this show. Uh, now, before we go uh, and get the live results, some feedback from the judges and then our chief judge, Mel Mansell from The Advertiser, the editor, will actually talk on behalf of the three, then they'll each have a bit of a chat to us about what they thought. And then at the end of it, uh, Keith's going to let us know what the public vote was and that people's choice will actually be for the trophy. So let's get underway. Over to you, uh, the judges. Thanks, Anthony. Two very impressive teams, I thought. And, and I have to say that regardless which way you go, you wouldn't want to be sitting in front of either of them with a bundle of cash because you wouldn't be leaving with, <laughs> with much at all. Um, and, and I thought on the property side, and these, these comments won't be surprising, I find a very, very big on emotion and, and stability and warmth and just, even just, just a, hugging even a bit of love <laughs> there, you know, so, you know, and you very clearly uh, get the picture about the importance of a tactile environment when you're talking about, about property. And, and Greg and Emma, I could imagine either of them are leading me up the drive, but, but certainly not the, the garden path. <laughs> and I think, that, I think that Emma came in very strongly with, with some important uh, detail there and you know, quite, quite forcefully and underlined the 10-year growth in, in residential real estate um, in Adelaide and the importance of staying off the, the roller coaster with, with the shares. Um, as you would expect, I think Mark and John very big on detail. They, they seem to have a fine grasp on detail, which is a relief, I suppose. Um, now also, I find Mark in particular uh, very august and, and convincing, and he's the sort of guy that you would, uh, you would trust uh, with, with your life, uh, and also very, very big on, on, on diligence. And I think uh, John put up a very, very uh, forceful argument on the, on the value of shares and, and made a very, very telling point, I thought, about the costs cost associated, associated with, with property. I think it was kind of interesting, as strong as their argument was, they were clearly struggling because, because of the vagaries of the, of the share market at, at the moment. But, oh, it's close. It's close. They, they, didn't, they didn't mention your article in the paper, did no, they? No, they didn't. Could have, Newport, could Newport have wiped Keys, real could estate. Have, could have, absolutely. Could have wiped the slate. I think paint. they did a deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think for me, what I got out of this, and I thought it was not so much the emotion or the information, but the great, great use of props, and I think that really needs to be applauded today, because to bring your own brick from your own house, yeah. Greg, I think yeah. it's just, that's, that's commendable. Yeah. Uh, boys, to also go out on a limb and put your phone number up live on television mm. and try and plead with people to come and see you and get work, I thought was brilliant. The use of <laughs> unpaid bills, and even Emma, the analogy of going through Disneyland, that roller coaster ride, just, it struck a heart. <laughs> and, and Anthony, your use of props as well. I thought, you know, bringing out the port jumper as well, I thought was just a great touch. So. <laughs> I, I thought that speaking of Anthony particularly, um, in terms of the level playing field, it reminded me of the mountain stages of the Tour de France, actually. <laughs> and, it, and then when it came to the panel, I, I switched to MasterChef because there was a hell of a lot of ham. <laughs> but I've got to say, very good quality dishes. And so I started off, I had a line up my sleeve here to say, look, these teams were both very modest with so much to be modest about. Very but in fact, they were very good. I actually swapped my entire portfolio from property to shares three times and lost 100 grand in commissions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, it was. Uh, so it almost was, everybody's. It was, very, it was very high quality and we marked it very close, but. We did. It was very, very close, but we're a motor, an emotive bunch here mm. and we went for property by this much. Yeah, oh, property. well. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Trophy. The, what we did actually have another vote as well, and oh. we, th we think the crows are going to win. Oh. <laughs> 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 we did have a vote. Two one. Two All right. Now, um, so that's been great. Now, Keith, I hear that yes, you're so about to get handed. Just like in the Oscars. Tenure. Yeah, just like in the Oscars. And so the I drum have roll. The, the people's vote, and the winner today is. Property! Now, 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 we've got a new, a new sort of 
I didn't know how it was going to pan out today. It's we don't because it's been one all. So that actually means you guys are losing now. You guys are winning. <laughs> one up. One up. But um, I just didn't want anyone to go home empty-handed because I think the amount of effort that's gone in on the part of both of these teams yeah. is extraordinary. You're in. Now I don't. I don't think it's fair. So what I've done, I've got a special memento for the teams to take home with you and share with your officers. So. Um, we're going to get wine. It's, no, no, it's, it's, um, it's uh, something very special. And I'd like to start off, uh, perhaps, uh, with the share guys. And if we just <laughs> like to... <laughs> and I'll look here, so if you'd like to... Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> to, to the share guys, well done. So, um, no? No, 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 no. You're, allowed, you're allowed to keep them. Uh, now, and, and uh, for, the, for the winners, uh, hang on. Now, by the way, these aren't perpetual. They're, these actually, this is for the effort and the energy. You can keep these. Thanks, no, so, <laughs> Emma, I'd just like to uh, anoint you. Uh, 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 and uh, Greg. Thank you very much. So, uh, we have the winners. Um, so, uh, wear them with pride. Wear them with pride. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, so special thanks to the judges, uh, to the audience, for those that have written in. Uh, special thanks to all of the people, the tech guys that helped put this together. Uh, and a lot of fun. Serious message in there. Um, but uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Now let's go and look at some properties. And thank you so much for tuning in. Let's go to Hot Properties. So another great show, and just before we do, don't we go? Don't forget, uh, guys, to take that. And be proud of that. That's the showdown trophy, the fourth trophy, uh, and of course, this is the one that the guys can keep and leave in the office. Ooh, um, so you've got two now, this and we've real. got we've got our hats. Uh, yeah, you've got hats. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, and our next week's show, uh, we'll discuss some real, real, uh, real estate topics uh, and uh, look at some homes, including the finest property that I've ever seen in Dulwich. It's Dulwich House, it is unbelievable. And uh, that'll be on next week, it'll be a scoop. Uh, and for those of you that have been tuning in, see you next Wednesday. Uh, we're live, we're interactive at one o'clock. Thanks for, thanks for viewing. <laughs>